So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. And we do have uh, Four of Pentacles and Six of Swords, self-protection, peace of mind, uh, detachment uh, from burdens, right? We do have the Ten of Wands. Kind of all the energies, right? The energies of stability, the energies of the mind, and the energies of responsibility. So I kind of feel that the universe is saying, you know, we need to do something about. We need a little bit of self-protection and we need a little bit of detachment from a situation. We do have the uh, the Empress and the, the Hierophant. So for some of you, it might have been a marriage and somebody decided, you know, I have nothing left to give. The Empress in reverse is like, you know, um, kind of like the energy of an empty marriage, you know. But um, let's see before we jump to conclusions here. So we're going to look into past energies and we do have the Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot in Reverse, Cancer Energy, and the Death. I know. Two major arcana. So it, so it was a turning point. Strength, Leo Energy, Six of Wands in Reverse, the Death in Reverse again. Well, once is upright, once is in Reverse. And Sagittarius again, the Temperance. Might be a Leo Sagittarius, or that is Leo in your chart, that is Sagittarius, important Sagittarius in your chart somewhere, Scorpio energy. Um, and a lot of signs, Aquarius, so I wonder, either this is your energy, either a lot of people had something to say, you know, like, um, you know, they had opinions about. And um, I hope you saw right through it. But um, anyways... Um, so we know what we have, right? We have changes and we have endings. This is what happened in the recent past. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is sudden changes in a situation that was going perfectly. And, um, and then um, it shifted completely in an ending. And um, I would say sudden ending, but then we have unfinished business. So, you know, it's a mix of. And um, it, uh, we got stuck there. We got stuck there. Um, the chariot in reverse is like it's ever since that we don't have a lot of movement. And the temperance in reverse is we don't have a lot of healing just yet, right? We might be struggling. It has a sense of shame. We might be ashamed um, for what happened. Maybe people are watching, family members. It looks like a lot of people involved there, right? So we not only have the burdens of the ending, but we also have the uh, the energy where we have to deploy a lot of strength and inner courage um, to look presentable, to look fine, right? To be up to speed in some way, to look fine to the people watching, you know? <laughs> and I kind of feel that um, this is the energy of, God, I am so frustrated, but, you know, I tell myself, I have to be on my best behavior. And thank God some of the things are illegal, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I know it's not a joke, but uh, you get my point, right? This is really um, kind of um, bottling up uh, a little bit of anger there. And, of course, we need some outlets, um, healthy outlets, by the way. So it might have been a Sagittarius at a distance. We have, might have been a Scorpio at a distance. But, boy, they brought a lot of change. Um... No, the death twice. Um, this is their transformation, but this is also yours, right? Um, it's kind of like the universe saying in the process that was a that was a mature energy that emerged for both of you, um, pushed you to work on your strength, um, inner courage, and um, you know, kind of the um, you know, um, giving you, and I don't, uh, I know that is a French expression, but I'm pretty sure that is a, an equivalent in English about giving you not opportunities, more skills. But anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out. Um, so yeah, yeah. Transformation, endings, and changes, and with the overall energy, the universe is saying self-protection, detachment, and why the burdens? Why are you still carrying responsibilities, right? So energies right now, we do have the Three of Swords. We do have the Four of Cups, King of Pentacles in reverse, and Five of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Queen of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse again. 
Seven of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. I mean, we might not be in a very emotional um, shape right now. We don't have the Three of Swords with the Queen of Swords, right? We feel up, upside down. It's unfair, it's unjust, and we are still hurting. It's part of the process. It's normal. It takes time. Um, but I'm also seeing, Aquarius, things we are not paying attention to, like financial stability. Um, like maybe a parent, maybe somebody, a relative, somebody who can help, right? Somebody at a distance. We are still hiding. It has a sense of shame and hiding. And with the strength, it's like we are putting up a, you know, kind of a, um, a show in some way. And we are hiding something. And I honestly feel at the end of the day, when we don't open up and we don't speak up and we don't... Um, you know, evacuate whatever is keeping us on, um, you know, on an anxiety, uh, you know, drill like this. Um, I feel at the end of the day, we are not honest with ourselves, right? And, um, and I kind of feel that we, you know, we have energies of not paying attention um, because we are focusing too much on this hurt and on this shame that comes with it. Seven of Swords in reverse is also the energy, oh my God, nobody has to see, right? It's about things that need to happen when nobody's watching, a sense of, um, you know, and maybe that's why the burdens. I um, and, I, and I know, and I understand a bit about public image and people seeing us and we always have to be on top, right? And we always have to be, you know, organized and ready to go and, um, you know, functional and stuff. But I kind of feel that we are... Um, cheating ourselves out of a healing, um, healthy healing process of some sort. And uh, somebody can help, um, but I feel we, we are not honest enough. We cannot be honest to ask for help. We have the King of Pentacles. For some of you, can be a dad, can be a provider of some sort, can be somebody helping you away from you. Uh, but we are keeping this hidden and we are not saying a word. But this person actually can bring your way generosity and kindness with the Six of Pentacles, you know. Balance, generosity and kindness if we open up and we share um, whatever is going on and asking for help, you know. Um, so let's have the possible outcome. And we do have the Knight of Swords. This is you. Ace of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Cups, Upright, and the Page of Pentacles. Um, so let me tell you, Aquarius, three aces in reverse, these are blessings you don't see, okay? Uh, three blessings you don't see. Uh, three of Cups, happiness, right? that you have opportunities of happiness, but with the Four of Cups here, the Seven of Swords, I feel that we are, um, again, cheating ourselves out of an energy that is generous, blessings that can come your way, new beginnings, um, impatiently waiting, right? Seven of, seven of Pentacles in reverse, impatiently waiting for opportunities, and yet you have the sword in your head, in your head, <laughs> sorry, in your hand, um, and... Um, and, you know, uh, focused on actually what went wrong, you know. On the rejection, page of pentacles in reverse, we are focusing on the lack of zest right now. You know, Ace of Wands is like we don't see the fire, um, you know, the, the energy, the fire, the passion, the new endeavors, the excitement that, that can, um, you, you know, that is available around you and you are not seeing opportunities. So this is for someone, this is for an Aquarius out there, caught up in some social God knows what, because I don't want to call it, you know, uh, where we have to keep up appearances, you know, something ended, it was a quick shift and we are ashamed, we don't talk much, and because we don't talk, we cannot receive support. That's one of those energies that I hate the most because that is nothing more liberating than talking about it, right? And then we have that detachment of when we hear ourselves uh, speak, right? We um, we also listen to ourselves. So 
you know, it comes with realizations and flashbacks and, and stuff like this. But uh, the universe is definitely saying Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginnings that you are not paying attention and you cheat yourself and lie, your, lie yourself. Ace of Swords, by the way, is the sword of truth in reverse, which is lying and keeping yourself in the dark because we are uh, focusing way too much on something that is done and over with. Okay. Painful, I know, Aquarius, I know, I know, I know. So let's ask for some guidance. And what do we have? Distorted masculine. So you have your answer right there. If you are an Aquarius, uh, divine feminine, uh, can be divine masculine, by the way, right? We know the, um, it doesn't matter in tarot. Um, well, they had some work to do on themselves, right? And that is something we are not seeing, right? And the universe is even more clear. Emotional freedom. We need to break free. They had work to do. We are not on the same page. We are not on the same frequency. The rainbow reviver. We need um, to bring some happiness back, some joy back, some playfulness. And we need to open up to opportunities while having boundaries with the past situation bottom of the deck take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever so we leave the distorted past in the past and we move on right towards something that is like real love now words of words of affirmation and we have spontaneity you move beyond the construct the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So this is what you need to manifest, Aquarius, spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. We do have surrender to silence. So we need to stop calling them. <laughs> By the way, I'm just saying. In quiet meditation and contemplation, you let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. We have cause and effect, which is the law of attraction. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. And we have transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. And the bottom of the deck, joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. And you have uh, the rainbow reviver and joy. You forgot to have fun, Aquarius. You have been way too caught up in a situation um, that is occupying your mind. So again, blessings you don't see. The whole reading is about blessing you you don't see, and you're gonna see them the minute you think about yourself. Four of Pentacles, self protection. Let me put myself first, and the Six of Swords, detachment, walking away from tormented environment. So Aquarius, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe. Please stay strong, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.